okay in this tutorial I would like to demonstrate how to model and how to simulate uh, a case that uh, has a flow inside a porous media so you know this porous media is an important application in many industrial applications like uh, in packs filters uh, catalytic converters uh, and things like that uh, things that are important in porous media is of course the pressure drop across the, the porous media and the velocity distribution the homogeneity of the flow and um, these are the things that are more or most interesting things to look in the CFT calculations so what I have today is a is a uh, is a catalytic converter and uh, the flow is uh, is uh, is a flow of nitrogen through a catalytic converter and the geometry and the mesh is already available so I'll just uh, need to import it so make sure to have this double precision option on this is uh, okay what I need to do is uh, to go to file import and mesh and look for for my actually the mesh so it is located on the desktop I'll put this uh, mesh and geometry somewhere in the Dropbox and uh, so that you can download it and continue the simulation together with me so I think I have put it somewhere here in the pro porous uh, media here it is catalytic converter mesh so you see the geometry is now loaded <clears throat> so here is the entrance here is where the flow the N2 is entering and this is the outlet and this uh, geometry in the middle in between is actually the substrate or the catalytic converter itself so if I go to the scale so you see that the, the extent of geometry in meter is uh, quite huge it's uh, 276 in X uh, 50 and 15 Y uh, which is not realistic so if I change it back to millimeter and uh, specify the scaling factor like uh, 0.001 for all three directions <clears throat> and for the Z as well and just press scale so you see the dimensions now are more realistic so I'll press close and I check the mesh uh, to make sure that everything is fine so uh, the general settings are like the solver is pressure based and this is a steady state simulation so I'll keep things as default uh, regarding the viscous model I will uh, I will choose the standard K epsilon uh, model with the standard wall function, various standard and basic K epsilon model, and I press OK. Regarding the material, if I double click on the fluid, if I double click on the air, and go to the fluent database, and look for nitrogen so it should be somewhere down in the in the list all right here is the nitrogen n2 and you just copy and close now you see you have two fluid one is air one one is nitrogen but we don't use air in this simulation it's only nitrogen that is going through the entrance and uh, going out through the exit so I'll go to Zen uh, cell zone conditions the first fluid zone which is here and there I'll double click on that and I'll pick uh, nitrogen and I press OK for the substrate uh, cell zone condition which is the interior inside this substrate I'll double click on that and change the material name to nitrogen as well uh, what I need to do is uh, I would like to have the, this uh, cell zone as laminar zone because uh, I don't want to have the turbulence uh, interfering with the porous calculations so I'll make it like a laminar zone and this is also a physical uh, approximation because uh, the flow is uh, 
uh, not quite fast in this substrate and its uh, turbulence is actually uh, is actually suppressed here and this is of course a porous zone and then I'll go to porous zone uh, option here so if you look at here you have uh, uh, direction 1 and direction 2 vectors these are the principal uh, vectors that inertia and uh, viscous resistance are acting and working upon uh, so these are the principal axes so if you look at the geometry here itself uh, and you look at the substrate you see that uh, the direction the axial direction is uh, actually aligned with the x direction and the radial directions are aligned with the y and z direction uh, so I don't need to do I don't need to change anything uh, regarding the principal directions because uh, the principal directions are aligned with X Y and Z but uh, in case that your porous me medium is not aligned with the coordinate system what you need to do is to go to choose this update from plane tool and rotate your plane uh, so that it uh, so that it uh, gets aligned with the coordinate system and then these directional vectors, which are the principal axis of your uh, of your forces, your resistance uh, and um, viscous resistance and inertia resistance, uh, will be calculated here automatically. So you see that direction vector number three is not available. This is something that uh, ANSYS will work here behind the scene and will calculate automatically. So you don't need to. Uh, specifically put this, uh, this uh, like this uh, direction tree here as well regarding the viscous resistance uh, a number I have for the for the axial direction is uh, uh, is 3.846 e7 and for the direction 2 and 3 which are actually the radial directions I'll put the value uh, like 3 order of magnitudes higher because I wouldn't like to have uh, this resistance working on uh, or actually I don't want to have my flow in the radial direction so I would like to have it only on the axial directions so I'm putting the viscous res resistance on the radial directions much much bigger than the axial uh, direction so that the flow is only going through the axial direction and regarding the inertial resistance uh, the value I have is uh, the value I have here in my notes book is 20 14, uh, 414 14 for all three directions So if you scroll down, you see that there are power law model and uh, several things that you need to go to help uh, in order to educate yourself a little bit with the porous media calculations and formulations and how ANSYS Fluent is actually calculating this, um, this porous media things inside uh, this CFT calculation. So these are the things you need to go to help and uh, understand a little bit better yourself. I'll press OK here then I go to boundary condition I'll double click on the boundary condition for the inlet uh, for the inlet the velocity is uh, 22.6 meter per second and the turbulence uh, intensity I'll put to 10% and the hydraulic di diameter is 42 millimeter according to the diameter of the, the cylinder itself in the entrance press OK same for the outlet this is the pressure outlet at the gauge pressure zero and uh, I'll put intensity to 5% this time and uh, the hydraulic diameter to 42 uh, the rest I don't need to change uh, the substrate wall is wall the wall is wall and the porous inlet and outlet is just uh, are just uh, interfaces uh, the method the method I'll probably change the scheme to couple and I'll pick this pseudo transient on I'll go to report definition I right click on that and I make a surface uh, report of the mass flow rate uh, at the outlet so what I would like to do is to report uh, or report uh, into the file and report into the plot 
of the mass flow rate of the outlet each and every iterations and I check report file and report plot and you will see that the mass flow rate in the outlet will be plotted on Windows number 2 once you start iteration uh, the monitor let's make the residual a little bit lower for all parameters velocity continuity and k and epsilon and uh, you see that the report file is already created here for both files and plot let's start uh, with initialization make sure that you don't use hybrid initializations uh, when you're when you're simulating a porous media because uh, <clears throat> hybrid initializations cannot handle the porous uh, formulation and the results that you get from the hybrid initialization uh, are not correct so you pick a standard initialization for porous media and you compute from inlet you just press initialize and then I think I'm good to run the calculation for some uh, 100 iterations for example let's calculate and look at the convergence this will be hopefully fast so on windows number two you see the report definition zero which is the mass flow rate at the outlet and here scale residuals you see the convergence of continuity x y z velocity and k on epsilon let's get back to report definition the mass flow um, you see it's already getting flat which means it's uh, almost converged going back to this this one is also getting very close to the convergence criteria and uh, after some 75 iterations the residuals are also getting flat so I think I'm happy with the results at this uh, stage let's have it uh, finished okay this is now finished uh, in the post processing let's make a ISO surface of the mid plane go to create and make ISO surface of for example mesh surface of constant mesh and uh, y coordinate and ISO value of 0 and I just call it uh, y0 and I create go to contours new and uh, contour of pressure static pressure on y0 and make this field on as well so on windows number two so you see the contour plot of pressure in the iso surface uh, y0 so i can also show the draw the mesh here as well and display here i don't need the edges and perhaps uh, to make my Control plot uh, visible. I'll go to viewing. I'll go to compose. And uh, what I need uh, to change is the transparency of wall and sub uh, substrate wall. Go to display. And uh, in the transparency, make the transparency of blue a little bit higher. You see now it's quite transparent. And then go back to your contour click on edit then just display fill display draw mesh display and uh, here it is so if I click on this you see that uh, the static pressure in the beginning of the substrate is uh, is big and uh, it's a uh, drop the pressure is actually dropping and dropping across the substrate and this is something you need to calculate uh, perhaps uh, in a line or rec I can I can do it as well if I go to post-processing and go to create and line and rec 
and uh, for example uh, from z0 y0 and the x uh, maybe changing from the beginning of the subtrades from 95 to like 165 and I press create I'll call let's call it line midline and then just create and then go to XY plot uh, XY plot and create a new the direction of the plot is actually X uh, because the line I have created starts from here to here so the direction is X that is correct uh, press midline and uh, plot the static pressure and perhaps in the curve you would like to have some symbols as well press apply save and plot and you see here how the pressure is actually dropping uh, from the beginning of the substrate uh, and then toward the end from like uh, 650,000 Pascal to something like 350,000 Pascal at the end of the substrate uh, what else you can do you can also create some isosurface on the <clears throat> on the X on the X coordinate and uh, like for example 95 which is the beginning of the substrate as I said I call it X 95 press create and then uh, like 135 or maybe 130 which is the middle one call it 130 create and then 165 which is at the end and I call it X165 and I press create and just go to contour plot make a new one and select uh, these three and uh, this time I will plot the velocity uh, I will not choose the global range because this is a local uh, velocity on these three surfaces uh, and I draw mesh first and then display so here you see in the beginning of the subtrade the velocity is uh, the velocity in the x uh, x uh, on the yz plane is a bit big in the middle and when it comes to the end of the subtrade the velocity is getting lower and lower but more homogeneous toward the end I can also plot the vector plots if you like I'll make a vector plots of velocity on uh, on my mid plane which was y0 I'll keep the draw mesh on I make the display I close this and save and display and what you can do is to increase the scale a little bit to, to a bigger value like 5 and here you see how the velocity in the axial direction is homogeneous in the middle of the subtrate and you see also two recirculating region in the middle in the beginning of the subtrate as well so I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned how to uh, how to work with the porous media and how to activate it and uh, the options you have available in the in the ANSYS Fluent for this porous media calculation. I'll come back with uh, more tutorials later. Thank you very much.